Okay, I've just finished installing this motorhome Wi-Fi 4G antenna to the roof of our motorhome. Uh, the job of this thing is basically to uh, amplify the signal out to the mobile network, so hopefully we get a better mobile signal inside. Well, for data, it doesn't actually do your phone, it's for data this is. Uh, I'll back off a little bit, I'm on a ladder here, so I've got to be a bit careful. So you get an idea of how big it is, that's the satellite dish in the background. Um, and the rest of the video shows how to install it, so I'll just pop downstairs now and show you what's inside. That's, that's the underside, uh, it's bolted through the um, roof, the rest of the video shows how that's done. And then a couple of cables go through from the wardrobe into the uh, TV unit. And then in here, the cables come down into a uh, MiFi unit, which is uh, connected up to the EE network. That's then broadcasting a Wi-Fi signal inside the van that 10 devices can connect up to. Uh, so at the moment, due, as we're set up here, he's connected to 3G network. What's the speed like? It's quite good, actually. I'm just investigating tourist routes in Norway. And happy dozy, happy days. Okay, so the rest of the video will show you how to install that. So uh, that's a 4G antenna and a, a MiFi unit from Motome Wi-Fi. Okay, this is the um, part of the roof that we're going to put the aerial on. So you see, it's currently got a analog TV aerial on, but um, that the previous owners put on. But it's also got a satellite dish, so we're going to take this one off. And there'll also already be a hole um, in the roof, which. Um, the aerial will do a good job of covering up as well, so uh, so we're just going to whip this off and clean it up, um, and then get it ready to uh, put the aerial on, stick it on. So uh, we're going to install our uh, uh, Motone Wi-Fi 4G antenna on the roof um, in place of a uh, TV aerial. So if you didn't uh, already have a hole drilled like we have, you'd need something like this, a hole saw to uh, pop a hole through the roof. Okay. Okie dokie, so this is in the uh, wardrobe of uh, our motorhome um, and this is the spot where we're going to install the antenna so on the roof it will poke down through this hole so basically we're going to take this um, TV antenna off because we don't use it and um, we'll reuse the existing hole to uh, put the aerial on Just cleaning the roof up here so we decided to put the um, antenna on where the uh, TV antenna was which is probably <laughs> Bit of a mistake because it's a right job trying to get it clean. So I've got to get the roof pretty clean because the um, you don't use seek flex with the new one. It's just got some glue on the bottom. So I've got to get it uh, so it'll get a good seal. And then what I'll probably do is just pop a bit of silicon around the outside. So if, normally if you fit, fit in one of these aerials, you just cut a hole yourself and just pop it straight through, which would be a piece of cake compared to this. So um, it's going to take a little while longer. Than it. It's probably going to take a few minutes if you were installing it from. Uh, without making this uh, job of trying to clean all this up but, uh, yeah so we're going to clean this up and then clean up the inside because that's covered in silicon as well and then we'll pop the aerial on okie dokie uh, right that was a bit of fun there was seeker flex everywhere but uh, I've whipped it off just scraped most of it off with a uh, Stanley blade so it's pretty clean I think the um, because the fact this one doesn't use seeker flex it's just got a, uh, an adhesive pad on the bottom that's going to have to be fairly flat for it to get a good seal uh, but it's cleaned up quite well and I'll just pop a bit of silicon around the rim of it once I've uh, put it on so uh, yeah I've had a little clean up there so I'll just pop it in place so the aerials go through like that yeah, through the hole so that's what it will just sit like that on the roof right I'm going to go down below now and have a look at uh, how well I fit this bit on so this is the plate that uh, holds it on from below Okay, I've just taken the extension bar off. Uh, I tried taking the uh, backing off with the extension bar on, that didn't work very well. So it's going to be a lot cleaner to do it this way. So I'm going to take the uh, sticker backing off and then I'm going to put the extension bar back on. Right, I whipped off the uh, the backing for the glue uh, and I've just used a spanner just to tighten the extension bar up into the, uh, the bottom of the antenna. Uh, and I'm going to glue it in place over here. Alright, there it is. That's the antenna glued onto the roof. Um, because I had to clean ours up a little bit and it had a few gouges in it, I've opted to just stick a bit of silicon just around the uh, the edge of it. You don't, strictly speaking, have to do that uh, and you don't have to use any seeker flex with this. That's it, it's just glued on there so it'll be held on from below with the um, some dirt off it. With the uh, the big um, nut that goes on the bottom as well. Uh, I'll just spun out a bit so you can get an idea of how big it is compared to the satellite dish. It's pretty low profile. And uh, now I'm going to bolt it on below and uh, fit the aerial, and that's it. 
Okay, now keep right. We just pop the um, the bottom nut on there, so we just tighten that up. We just pulled the antenna down onto the, uh, the roof. As tight as it'll go. Left the chamfered bits on the downside, so uh, we're now just going to pop through the three screws in that hold that in place. And then we've got the antenna cables coming out that we'll attach to the MiFi. Okay, that's the little self tappers in there. Just stop it coming undone. Uh, two antennas come down. Uh, and we've got a couple of extension cables that you can use too because it's 4G. Uh, so that end will go into that end, and then the other end, which is a smaller connection, will go into here. Get the MiFi. So there's a couple of connections on the bottom of the MiFi. Doesn't matter which uh, which one the two um, cables go into. And then the MiFi needs a uh, power connection, so what I'm going to do initially is I'm just going to use this uh, a 12 volt um, cigarette charger uh, with a cable, and then I'm going to pop that. Oh, where am I going? It's pretty busy in here, but we see we've already got a 12 volt socket here, so I'm going to use that for the time being. We have actually got a um, fixed power supply for it, which is this this little device here. But I'm not exactly sure where I'm going to put it yet, where I'm going to want to keep the MiFi so for visibility of the screen and things like that. So I'm just going to use this for the time being and then uh, install that at a later point when I've decided what to do. Okay, so I've uh, screwed on the uh, antenna cables. Uh, I've drilled a couple of um, 9mm holes through the side of the wardrobe. So they're now popping out just over there around the back there. So I'll call the cable up, the spare cable around the back. Drop the uh, excess bit over and connect it to the MiFi, uh, and that'll just stay loose in here for the time being until we uh, get it connected um, permanently later on. Okay, we've got the uh, antenna through now, so I'm just going to attach them to the MiFi. So they basically just push on to these uh, little um, uh, sockets, whatever you call them, connectors on the bottom of the uh, the MiFi device. So I'll just do that now, and then uh, that's the job just about done.